This is Barbara from the Davis Center. It's where Barbara Harvey made a good living processing mortgage loans. So it may surprise you to learn that when Barbara leaves work, she heads for this parking lot behind the historic Santa Barbara Mission. This is where Barbara sleeps at night, in the back of her car with two golden retrievers. In California, it's illegal to sleep in your vehicle. But the city of Santa Barbara, together with New Beginnings, came up with the safe parking program. They opened up 11 lots where people are allowed to sleep in their cars from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I got to know New Beginnings through Nancy Camp. She gave me a pass to, to park and sleep overnight at the Mission parking lot. It was really dangerous for a woman, even with dogs, to be sleeping in a car somewhere on the street, somewhere. Uh, and it was, I felt very uncomfortable about that, so I felt really grateful that um, the Mission parking lot was there. This is our home, and it's um, sort of the size of some master bedrooms. This is the living room, the dining room, the office, and my bedroom, and the dog's bedroom. I don't know where I'd be, really, without that opportunity and without them providing the program. It's been continuous, you know, four years ago I was in it, and it's still going strong. So there's obviously a need for this. New Beginnings has a long history in Santa Barbara. It dates back to the late 60s, early 70s, when it was originally started as a clinic called the Night Clinic. And over the years, it changed names and it changed um, ownership, if you will, a couple of times. It always served as a nonprofit organization. We've been very, very lucky in the same building now, as far as I know, for those 18 years. And I believe that even before, it was the Santa Barbara Counseling Center. It was called the Santa Barbara Night Counseling Center. It's a very long history in that building. We have five programs, the Counseling Clinic, the RV Safe Parking and Homeless Outreach Program, Case Management Services to the Housing Authority, our Life Skills Program, and a Bilingual Bicultural Counseling Program that we provide services to Isla Vista Youth Projects for. The New Beginning Safe Parking Program basically helps people who are homeless living in their vehicles. We have about 110 spaces, we have about 150 clients, and we have 20 different lots all over Santa Barbara, some in Goleta, some in Nolita. We have about 150 people total that are participating in the program at any one time. Uh, right now we have about 55 people on our waiting list. The numbers are growing rather than diminishing over the past several years. There are about 50 people who work for New Beginnings. About 40 of those people are working on a volunteer basis. We have approximately 30 counselors who work at the clinic all on a volunteer basis. Our staff, our counselors, our volunteers, even our supervisors are volunteers. They are also dedicated and they really have a big heart for what they're doing and they enjoy being a part of New Beginnings that, you know, they don't think twice to do it and it just feels so special to be a part of that. All of the clinical directors, their hearts were in the right places and all of the colleagues, all of the interns who were struggling to learn, struggling to do a help for the less fortunate. One of the most important aspects of the services that we provide at New Beginnings is that we will turn no one away for an inability to pay for services. We, we see people on a sliding scale basis at the counseling clinic. Um, we don't charge anything for our services through the homeless outreach program. We will provide services um, to anyone, regardless of their ability to pay. I really am a person who saw part of New Beginnings background as, as working with those who uh, were underprivileged, marginalized, and not, again, not part of mainstream um, services. They provide services to a wide variety of people. Um, these are families, these are children, they are folks that are, many of which are employed. Uh, these are folks that are, are productive people in the community but are having real problems and they have the possibility of falling into deeper problems. They're just everybody, we're all the same, we're all equal. Some people just are poor and down on their luck and having a hard time and if you give them that chance they will prove to you 
that they can be just as good and equal as everybody else and, and, and they can actually hold a job and get a job and do things and, and some of them soar like eagles because they, they get that opportunity and that's all we need. That's all we need is that opportunity to give to somebody. One of the things that I like about my job the most is being able to help transform people's lives, to show them that there's um, somebody who cares. Uh, a lot of times people come into our office for the first time and uh, they didn't know that we existed. They were trying to rough it out on the streets by themselves. Someone told them, go see Roz or Nancy at the Safe Parking Program. And uh, they just sit there and like just let it all out. They cry, they weep, they are so grateful that they finally are getting some assistance to get back on their feet. Yeah, when somebody is there listening to your worst thought you had about yourself and sitting there and saying, you're okay, it's a very curative experience. For many people, they, they will tell us, you know, thank you for listening. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for caring about me. It, through keeping that relationship on a regular basis to keep people stable in their outside life because they have this other stable, regular, consistent relationship. So I think that personal connection is a really important thing of what we offer. It's a gift to be able to help people and to f get the feeling back of knowing that you're doing something that's helping others. And again, it's so direct to the people. I like, to, again, to know that it's people that are in our community that are trying to get out of their situation, that are working to find jobs or to better their lives, go back to school, and help those people achieve their goals. Because of the economic problems in the last several years nationally, a lot of our sources for funding have dried up, and people who normally would have supported us have not been able to because of their own financial issues. In recent months, a number of the community counseling clinics in Santa Barbara have closed. They've just closed their doors. So now at a time when so many people need help, there, there are fewer places for them to go get help. We touch so many other organizations in town and we've taken on um, the burdens of a lot of organizations in town. One of the most expensive things that organizations do is counseling. And as financial times have gotten bad, that's the first thing that they've had to jettison. And we are picking up the slack for so many other organizations. I think we're also particularly important because we work with Housing Authority collaboratively and with the Safe Parking Program. And so we get cross referrals where um, people that are served at those other programs are coming into the clinic and I think feel more comfortable seeking the help at New Beginnings because they know we're connected to the other programs. And so knowing that the difference that we make within our program um, and within the context of the entire New Beginnings Counseling Center is such a gift and um, it's a, a way that we contribute as an agency back to the community so that the people that we serve can get back on their feet and feel that they're an integral part and can contribute again too. I think if I had any criticism for what we do or, or maybe um, a goal for the future, it would be to get the word out to the general public who we are, what we do, and how truly necessary we are to this community.